Sounds like macaroni and cheese, except for the end cheese. <laughs> Noodles, ride that horse. Get on the horse. Yeah, get on it. Oh, Cowboy Noodle has an idea. 
Oh, oh, almost there. Just put your foot on the foot handle thing. <laughs> Keep trying, Cowboy Noodle. You can do it. Try again. Help each other, Noodles. Oh, they're huddling again. Oh, Cowboy Noodle has an idea. What, what are, are they, they doing, doing now? now? They're lifting up Miss Noodle. You need to sit on it. Not lay on it. Like it's your bed. You can't ride a horse like that. They have an idea. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, helping hands. That's a good idea. Those noodles are so smart. Whoa! Uh oh. Where did he go? How did they do that? Those noodles are so amazing. Are you gonna get on the horse like that, cowboy noodle? Oh, that means no. Okay, but you're not near the horse. You have to go over the horse, cowboy noodle. Over, over. You're backwards. You need to turn it around. It turn, turn it around. around. You're riding it backwards. You can't ride a horse like that. Turn around, Mr. Noodle. That's very, very close. Really, really close. Your foot needs to be on the other side of the horse. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> he did it. Yay! Yay. Wow. That's the right way. Cowboy Noodle, ride up! Oh no, the horse left <laughs> without Cowboy Noodle. Uh, those those noodles. noodles. Hang in there, Cowboy Noodles. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shay. What, Dorothy? Huh? Oh, okay. Dorothy wants to ask someone else. How do they ride horses in the wild, wild west? Watch, Dorothy. Still ride 
horses if they want to. Elmo's friend, Maria, who lives out west in the Navajo Nation, she has her own horse, Strawberry, and she told Elmo all about it. This is my horse, Strawberry. I'm going to take him for a ride. First, I put on the blanket and I put on the saddle. I have to climb up on the fence and get his bridle and put it on him. Then I take strawberry out of the corral. A corral is where you keep your horses. I need my older brother to help me get up on strawberry. Then we're ready to ride. Strawberry is a very good horse. He knows I'm learning to ride and he doesn't go too fast. When we're all done, we ride back to the corral. finish riding, I put Strawberry back with the other horses. And I get some hay and some oaks for Strawberry. Then all the horses start coming where the hay and the oaks are. It feels nice to take care of my horses. They like me, and I like them. Wow! Maria takes very good care of Strawberry. And now, Elmo wants to know... Ah! You've got mail! You've got mail! No, no, You've got no, mail. no, computer! You've got Elmo mail. wants his email! You've got no, mail. computer! You've got what? mail! Oh, boy. Elmo will mail. hit him off at the You've cash. Computer! You've got mail! You've got mail! Computer! You've got computer! Mail. Hold your You've horses, got computer! Mail. Hold your horses! Oh, good computer! Now, giddy up, mouse! Whoa! <laughs> from Marshall Grover and his Wonder Horse Fred. Hello there, Elmo. Hi there, Elmo. Who better to tell you all about the wild, wild west than me, your furry blue law enforcement cowboy, Marshall Grover. You tell him, Marshall. Hear that music? Mm -hmm. That music is for a traditional wild, wild west dance called a rectangle dance. Uh, mm -mm. Marshall, that square dance? Oh, go on with ya. Uh, square dance? Oh. That's right, Marshall. It's time for a hoedown. Go on out there, Marshall, and kick up your heels. Oh, but, 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 Freddy. Hmm? I do not know how to square dance. Oh, Freddy! Freddy, what am I going to do? Well, just, oh. just calm down and listen to me, Marshall. I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah. Bow to your partner, pass right through. Stomp your feet and count to two. Did you go, little sheepy? One, two. Circle round and circle back. What? Can I get in the circle over here? Rub your tummy and say quack, quack. Middle 
and don't ask why. Yeah! Clap your hands and say bye. And there you have it, a traditional Wild Wild West triangle dance. Uh, Marshal, that's square dance. Whatever. Oh. Bye, Elmo. <laughs> square dancing email. Oh, thanks, computer. Yeah. <laughs> Dorothy? Oh, oh, what's that, Dorothy? Oh, 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 Dorothy wants to see another Wild Wild West dance. She likes it. Oh, maybe the noodles know one. Oh, come on up, Shay. Hey, Noodle Gang, hi. Hey, Cowboy Noodle. <laughs> Don't show your cards. Hey, Cowgirl Noodle. Oh, you must have a good hand. Hey, Cowboy Noodle. <laughs> Oh, there's Macaroni. Oh, Macaroni's helping Cowboy Noodle. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Dorothy wants to see a Wild Wild West dance. Time for our feature presentation, Little Dog House on the Prairie. Once a long, long time ago, there was a dog named Jesse who lived back east in New York City. Ruff. Ruff. But he longed for the wide open spaces. Of the wild, wild west. Yeah! He took a train as far as he could take it. End of the line. Everybody out. But it wasn't far enough. So he hopped the stagecoach and rode it all the way to a one-horse town. 
one horse town on the prairie. It was a long, long trip, but he finally made it to the wild, wild west. <coughs> Life was tough in the wild, wild west. And rough, too. And it was plenty wild. It was so wild, there was no place for Jesse to live. So he built himself a little doghouse on the prairie. And then it was time for Jesse to find something to do. So he tried working at the dry goods store in town. I'll take a 10 pound sack of beans, please. What about my beans? But Jesse wasn't suited for working in the store, so he tried teaching school in the town's one room schoolhouse. Huh? But teaching school wasn't his line of work either. What was a dog to do in the Wild Wild West? <laughs> Finally, he tried herding cows. <laughs> and that suited him just fine. In fact, Jesse became the finest cow dog west of the Mississippi. Coming up next on the Wild Wild West channel, Cowboys in the Hood and Wild Wild West Side Story. here magic stagecoach, that's how. Oh, wow, that makes sense. <laughs> yep, horse sense. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Hop in. Okay. <laughs> Hold down the fort, Dorothy. Elmo's going to the Wild Wild West to be a cowboy. Come with Elmo. <laughs> Yee-haw! Yee Fasten your seatbelt. Okay. <laughs> She'll be coming oh, round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be passing by the store when she comes. Hey, lady, she'll be passing by the store when she comes. J.H. and Son, she'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Howdy, Agnes. Ah. Wow. Thanks, horsey. Oh, sure thing, little feller. Now, you go be a cowboy and I'll be back later. Okay. <sighs> Bye. Elmo's a cowboy in the wild, wild west. Yay! <laughs> Howdy, cowboy cow. <laughs> Smile when you say that. <laughs> Hey, Cowboy Elmo. Hola, Cowboy Elmo. Hola, that's Spanish. I speak Spanish. I am a charro. A charro? A Mexican cowboy. Wow! Well, what do Mexican cowboys do? We ride horses. Ah. Let's go get our horses. Oh, good! Horses, here we come! Yahoo! <laughs> Quit horsing around, horsey. Uh, meet you at the OK Corral. Whoa, now don't whoa. <laughs> Yippee, Elmo's a riding cowboy. Yippee. Get along, Cinnamon. Come on, let's go. Yeehaw! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, it's time for us the horse's bath. And this is how we give water from the Wild Wild West, from a water pump. Oh, 
Water, Cowboy Elmo. Oh, okay, Cowboy Hannah. Okay, Cowboy Clarence. See you later. Cowboy Elmo's gonna give Horsey a bath. Yay, yippee! <laughs> Boy, Elmo's a horse-washing cowboy. Yay! <laughs> oh, don't forget to clean behind his ears. The Horsey loves it. <laughs> uh, all clean. Horsey looks beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Good horsey. And now, Elmo's a singing cowboy. Sing along with our friend Cowboy Doe if you want to. Here we go. Oh, give me a home and a buffalo. Suppose that means you're ready to hit the trail, Cowboy Elmo. Yeah. Well, Cowboy Elmo's work here is done. <laughs> Bye, Cowboy Bye, Elmo. My pleasure. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Howdy, Dorothy. Elmo's been a cowboy in the Wild Wild West. But, Dorothy, how can we learn more about the Wild Wild West? How can we learn more? You could talk to a real cowboy. Oh, yeah. Elmo could talk to Cowboy Travis. Howdy, Cowboy Travis. <laughs> Howdy, Cowboy Elmo. Howdy. Would you like to hear the story of Pecos Bill? Who's Pecos Bill? Why, only the smartest, bravest, fastest, wooliest, wildest cowboy in the whole West. Why? Yeah! Howdy, everybody! Howdy! Howdy! <laughs> you want to hear the story of Pecos Bill, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pecos Bill was a rootin' tootin' cowboy. A critter, big or small. He was the bravest and the best. He put the wild in wild, wild west. He was the ridingest, ropingest cowboy of them all. Now you'd lay, you'd lay, you'd lay, you'd lay, you'd lay, you'd lay, you'd lay. Ridingest, ropingest cowboy of them all. One day Pecos went to ride a bucking bronco. The fastest, fiercest horse in all the land. But as that Mustang buck grew, Joe just hung on tight and cheered. Soon he had that horsey eating from his hand. Where to, boss? Dodge City! Okay. <sighs> Yeehaw! In a big tornado, twisted into Texas, blowing up an oh. awful mess oh. from here to there. But Pecos Bill said, Twister, she hopped on his back and cried, you he turned that wind back to a little puff of air. Hey, yodel, yodel, yodel. They say the sun was always shining. 
So you couldn't tell just when the day was done Bill threw his lasso way up high Pulled that fire down from the sky And Pecos Bill rode off into the setting sun Yes, Pecos Bill rode off into the setting sun And that is the story of how Pecos Bill became the very first cowboy to ride off into the sunset. Travis, Elmo loves the Pecos Bill story. Oh, Elmo loves the Wild Wild West. Oh, and so does Dorothy. <laughs> well, you know what, Elmo? Huh? So do I. Oh. <laughs> and you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to sing the Wild Wild West song. He's Mal and where's Narf? Ooh. Narf, up here! And me, Narf. And I'm glad you could drop by. <laughs> <That's good one. laughs> hey, you ready to be a monster? Oh, me ready, me ready. Not you. You wave your furry arms. <laughs> and then you shake your furry head. Okay. <laughs> oh, very monstery monsters. Now, what's up your fur? <laughs> <laughs> now, say wubba, wubba, wubba. Wubba, wubba, wubba. Yeah. Now, time to sing the song. You sing too. Wubba, 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 wubba
from last meeting. <laughs> Whoa! Pissy Pippi! <laughs> Mel says it was a fortuitous meeting. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, no, no! Somebody say pants. No! Dance! Don't mind if I do. Oh. <laughs> hey, let's do the monster pants dance. How you do that? Hmm. Just do what I do. Jump, wiggle, jump. Oh, jump, wiggle, jump. Monster pants dance. Yeah. Jump, wiggle, jump. Slip on the bleep. Oops. <laughs> Is this the national slip on the bleep? <laughs> Is this the national slip on the banana peel club? <laughs> play chess than be chased by an elephant? Nah! Fine, then. My 
work here is done. writes, how do monsters scratch their backs? Good question, Minnie! Uh-oh. Uh and I have an itch on my back. I can't reach it. Oh, me help you. Oh, scratchy, scratch, scratch, scratch. Wait a minute. Now we got it. Allow me, Narf. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, 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 Time for monster goodbye song. Ooh. And all you monstery monsters out there in Monster Land, you sing too. Yeah. Yes, now parting is such sweet sorrow. Yeah. <laughs> So happy to see you. You're just in time for an adventure with you know who. You wouldn't be talking about me, would you? That's right, Hero Guy. Dun, da, da, da. So, Hero Guy, what kind of adventure should we have today? Well, looking at this picture of clouds and boats makes me feel like having an adventure right there in the sky. Come on, baby bear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, Hero Guy. I can't just jump into a picture of a sky like that. And why not? Because I can't fly. Well, then how can we have an adventure in the sky? Well, we have a wee little problem here. Any ideas? You're hero guy. Yes, but you're the one with the crayon and the imagination. Well, maybe we can solve this problem together. Let's see, uh, you can fly and I can't, so, uh, so I need a little help. Of course. I know what to do now. To fly like me, you need my propello. Here you go. Uh, but hero guy, you can't fly without your propello. Oh, right. Whoa! Uh, you okay, hero guy? Oh, sure. But how can we have our adventure in the sky if you can't fly? Huh. Well, I mean, I could fly if I had, like, like an airplane. Well, why didn't you say so? One airplane coming up. Come on, baby bell! Wait for me, hero guy! Wow! This is great! Hey, I have a bird's eye view of the birds! Hey, watch out for that cloud! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on for the old dipsy doodle! A dipsy what? Oh! Whoa! Oh, man! <laughs> what a hero! What a guy! You said it! What an adventure! Yeah! <laughs> and Hero Guy saves the day again! <laughs>
Visit Sesame Street on the web at www.sesamestreet.com.